child, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Sis May, for the opening prayer. Stop opening prayer. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so welcome sa ating mga uh, viewers, sa ating followers, at sa ating mga parating nag-a-attend ng ating catechism lecture every week. Knowing our faith, faith seeking understanding. So, hello sa dito ngayon sa Zoom. Sis Angela, Sis May, Brother Ramel, Sis Angel, yan, Sis Joanna. Good evening sa mga <coughs> uh, sa Facebook at sa mga nagpa-follow sa YouTube. Ang topic natin for our catechism ngayong gabi, uh, medyo ano to, medyo mahirap na topic to. Modesty. Pero before natin <clears throat> tatalakayin ang modesty, mag-aano tayo ng background ng chastity. Kasi ang modesty, mga kapatid, ay guardian, protector ng charit, ng chastity. Hindi natin masyadong maintindihan kung bakit tayo nagpo-focus sa modesty kung hindi natin i-discuss yung chastity no? or and purity. So, lahat ito is under the commandment number 6 about uh, the commandment number 6 talks about uh, purity uh, sexuality. Catechism, paragraph 2331 So, God is in a communion. Di ba? He is love. Siya yung example ng love dahil nabibigyan na tayo ng example on how to love because remember God is Trinity one God in three person so hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na hindi marunong si God mag love o hindi siya marunong makipag uh, ano ang situation ng relationship dahil He is in a constant relationship no? with the three person one God Father loving the Son the Son loving God and which begotten, no, which resulted in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the product of the love between the Father and the Son. But yan ay simultaneous. No? Silang sabay-sabay ang tatlo. They exist. They are only one. Kaya, pwede na, it is proper to say that God is in a loving communion. So, when He created us, He created us, He, he created man, man and woman. Huh? Created male and female. And then, silang dalawa, babae at saka lalaki, ginawa niya with equal digni dignity. Huh? Walang mas lamang sa dignity. Okay? Pareho silang, pareho sila, equal sila ng dignity. Ngunit, equal sila ng dignity ang lalaki at babae, pero they are created in a different way. Iba-iba ang kanilang uh, katangian, ang kanilang weakness, ang kanilang strength, iba-iba. Because they are created, they are designed to complement one another. May hindi kaya ang isa na kaya gawin ng isa, may hindi kaya gawin ng isa na kaya gawin ng isa. Then they have to combine they complement and the result ay perfect in the plan of God. No? So, <clears throat> and sa Bible, makita na, na natin na the woman should submit to the husband. Pero hindi ito sign na mga under ang husband. Ang purpose lang dyan is to create order. So, ang man yung uh, dinisign ni God to lead 
but the man has a great responsibility to love and respect the woman not to boss around no so mas mabigat actually ang responsibility ng man kung titignan mo kasi he has to protect he has to love hindi niya pwede i-boss around he has to lead no kaya ang woman he has to submit she has to submit um they are equal in dignity walang lamang okay so it is a responsibility ng kada isa they have been given the capacity and the responsibility to love each other and to love our neighbors we have to be in communion with our neighbors with one another with our fellow men no wala no man is an island we cannot live alone we need to uh, reach out no walang taong nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang di ba <clears throat> catechism paragraph 2333 no each person should accept and acknowledge his or her sexual identity so if you do not accept your sexual identity because you say that you are trapped you're a man trapped in a woman's body you're a woman trapped in a man's body do not accept you are already uh, disobeying God's plan and will. Huh? And there is complementarity, spiritual, physical, emotional, physiological. No? Yung, yung difference dyan ay para for the good of the marriage, no? for rearing the family, to raise children. Kaya ang Harmony ng society, harmony ng family will result kung paano sila successful na kanilang ma-integrate on how they cooperate in complementarity. No? They complement each other. Yung strength ng lalaki, yung softness ng babae, yung warmth ng babae, they complement each other. Hindi ito paligsahan, hindi ito contest na anong kaya ng lalaki anong kaya ng lalaki kaya rin ng babae hindi ganon no bakit sirang-sira ngayon ang US sirang-sira ang family ng US because and most of the western world because of feminism feminism is actually the brainchild ng communism at ng ng according to many popes and including Father Ripperger said the brainchild of communism and Freemasonry pinapaaway ang lalaki at babae sabihin na kung anong kayang gawin ng lalaki kaya rin gawin ng babae hindi dapat ganun no hindi hindi to paligsahan they help each other they complement no it destroys the plan of God with regards to complementary of one woman. So, at saka, yung mga modernists inside the church, they also uh, prescribe to this idea, may na, nahahawa rin ng mga theologian, they prescribe to feminism, na dapat ang teaching ng church mag-iba kasi unfair daw. Pati yung si God, tinatawag na nilang mother or she. No, we cannot second guess God because God, no, although God, strictly speaking, has no sex or gender, but He presented Himself in the divine revelation as He, as He. Who are we to second guess God? Who are we to usurp the authority of God in the divine revelation that he presented, revealed himself in the scriptures as father, not as mother. Okay? Maraming modernist liberal theologians ngayon simbahan that they will propose that God is a she. No. God has a reason to present himself as a father. Okay? And period. <clears throat> now, paragraph 2335. 
ang union ng man at sa woman in marriage it is imitating God. No? God allowed man and woman in their union in marriage to reproduce. So God is the one who is creator. Sinishare ni God ang pagiging creator sa mag-asawa. No? So that is why ang lalaki at babae, iwan nila ang kanilang parents, magiging, mag-iisang dibdib sila, and they become one flesh. No? At dapat one mind. You should not desire other people, other woman, other man, when you are already married because you are one flesh. You do not have to desire other. No? So lahat ng mga henerasyon, lahat ng mga tao, galing dito sa union ng babae at lalaki. Okay. So, 2, 3, 3, 6, sabi, You shall not commit adultery. Anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery in his heart. Kung anong pinagsama ni Lord, walang tao, wala kahit sino man makapag-separate. Kung successfully married, witnessed by the church, sacramentally, wala nang makapag-separate niyan. Ang makapag-separate niyan, kamatayan lang. No? So, the sixth commandment, you shall not commit adultery, yan ay commandment that pertains about sexuality. Okay? Lahat touched yan. Hindi lang yan sa adultery. Lahat about sin against chastity is covered in the sixth commandment. Now, ano yung chastity? Pag nakarinig tayo ng chastity, chastity belt, dapat hindi ka makipag-sex. Yun. Yun lang alam natin sa chastity. Huh? You, pag, you abstain yourself from sex, that's it. You're chaste. No. Um, ang chastity, malalim ang ibig sabihin yan. Ang chastity ay marunong kang mag-control. Ang chastity is yung, di ba, may, we are created soul and flesh, body and soul. Sa body natin, andun yung sexual drive. Binigay ni Lord sa atin ang sexual aspect, sexuality natin, for the purpose of procreation. No? So, eventually, we will be married, and then we will uh, bear children to go forth and multiply. So, andan yung sexual uh, desire, sexual drive. Pero dapat natin, marunong tayong i-incorporate yan sa ating soul. Hindi natin i-separate ang sexual drive from our soul. Kasi pag separate mo, pinafollow mo lang ang tulak ng iyong laman, hindi siya kontrolado ng iyong spirit, hindi ka chaste. Wala kang virtue ng chastity. So pag sinunod mo ang plano ng Diyos about the sexual uh, aspect, ang plano niya sa sexual aspect is to for the man and woman to love one another, magiging close sila, they will be attracted to one another, they are so desired for one another, and then they will also cooperate with God para mag reproduce ng human being. So, yan ang plano ni God. So, if you follow that plan, you are practicing virtue of chastity. Pag sinunod mo ang plano ni God, pag hindi mo sinunod ang fa- plano ni God about the sexual aspect, gusto mo lang yung gusto mo lang yung pleasure, gusto mo lang yung uh, experience ng desire ng flesh para ma- para enjoy that is against the plan of God, you are not being chaste. You are not practicing the virtue of chastity. Huh? Okay. So, it is, a, it is a lifelong mutual gift yung sexual uh, aspect sa mag-asawa. It is a gift to one another. Huh? So, i-integrate nyo, i-unite nyo sa inyong relationship. So, ang, ch- ang chaste person, hindi lang yung uh, dahil hindi ka nakapag 
you are, you are uh, hindi ka nakapag-sex, hindi ka nakipag-sex, chaste ka. Kasi pwede kang hindi chaste sa mind. Yung desire mo, hindi ka nga nakapag-sex, kasi wala namang, wala namang may gusto sa'yo. No? Uh, kasi natatakot ng tao sa'yo, or hindi ka nakapag-sex kasi andun ka sa kulungan for 20 years. So, the absence of sex is not the definition of chaste. The chaste is, you are totally in control of your sexual urge. Your spirit, your soul, your intellect is in total control. Bali, hindi ang laman mo ang nagmamaster sa'yo. No? Kung kailan mo gusto gamitin yung sexual appetite, hinihila ka. Hindi mo nakokontrol kagaya ng ginawa na ang nangyayari sa iba. Pero if you are in total control, of it hindi hindi mo inaaway ang misis mo hindi pag hindi ka napagbigyan dahil may tamang rason may valid reason hindi ka na hindi ka nang ano diyan nag watch ng pornography o ano ginagamit mo siya sa design ni God you are a chaste person no included ito sa ating speech no any behavior kahit behavior na sineseparate mo ang sexual aspect sa ating soul is already uh, against the plan of God. Catechism 2339, chastity is self-mastery. Okay? It is self-mastery na nagogovern na natin yung ating passion at Tandaan nyo, ang taong marunong mag-control ng kanyang passion, na kahit ang appetite niya lang, di ba? Ilagay na lang natin sa appetite natin sa pagkain. Pag na-control natin, at the end of the day, hindi tayo kumain ng chocolate, hindi natin kinain nyo, alam natin makakataba sa atin, hindi natin binanatan yung mga dessert dyan. Di ba? At, at the end of the day, you're proud of yourself, nakakontrol ka. Pero pag hindi mo na-control at binanatan mo yung mga, mga pagkain dyan, Sasakit ang dyan mo, tapos konsensya ka, tataba na naman ako dito. So, yun. Ganun din sa chastity. When man governs his passions and finds, he finds peace. No? Or, he lets himself be dominated by his flesh, becomes unhappy. Okay? Ang self-mastery or chastity Buong buhay yan. Walang taong makakapagsabi na, ah, graduate na ako dyan. I'm already chased. No? Uh, sabihin mo, 2008, na overcome ko na yung aking pagka-manyakis uh, o <laughs> pagka-sexually addict o gano'n. No. You do not, hindi ka pwede magkumpiyansa. All throughout your life, you have to guard always, every day, anytime you can fall. But, pag ikaw ay na-master mo na, mas madali na lang siya kumpara nung una. Diba? Uh, you can never say that you have acquired it once and for all. It is a lifelong exact, exacting work. Ano yan? Uh, si St. Paul sabi, uh, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. So, nire-renew mo yung effort mo all throughout your life. And, pero, sa simula, yun ang hirap. Usually sa childhood at sa adolescence formative years, yun ang pinakamatindi, madugo. Yun. Uh, grabe ang pag-control. 2345, chastity is a moral virtue. So, yung mga virtue, sa, galing yan sa Holy Spirit. No? It is a gift of God. Hindi yan sa mind over matter dahil malakas ka, matindi ka. No? It is a gift from God. Hihingin mo kay Lord yan. Of course, kasama ang ating Uh, pag-cooperate sa ating self-control sa ating pag-decide to do the will of God hindi yan magic na ah, give me chastity tapos hindi ka na ma hindi ka na matutukso no? tutukso ka pa rin kahit binigyan ka ni Lord ng uh, gift of chastity ang gift of chastity bibigyan ka ni Lord ng power to resist but you have to cooperate No? Kagaya ni Simon of Cyrene 
Tinulungan niya si Lord sa pagbuhat ng cross. Uh, tulungan tayo. It is a fruit of spiritual effort. Nung binigyan tayo, in-infuse yung mga uh, gifts of the Holy Spirit. Yung charity, yung chastity is under the gift of temperance. Sabi ni St. Augustine, I thought that continence arose from one's own powers. Yung mali ako. Hindi galing sa ating powers ang chastity. No? no one can be contented unless you grant it, Lord. So, kung nag, nag-pray ako, nakuha ko sana. Di, may, may problema si St. Augustine dati sa virtue of chastity. Di ba? May, meron pa nga siya, nag-live-in pa siya at saka may child siya out of wedlock. Medyo uh, may pagkamahalay si St. Augustine ng kabataan niya. So, because he thought na makuha natin sa mind over matter, hindi. We need always constant prayer. At saka, ang root ng chastity is charity. If you love God, and you love your fellow man, you will have chastity. If you truly love God, no? Because and you look at your neighbor as an image of God, you will treat them not as sexual objects, sex objects, but you see them with the dignity of being created by God in its His own image. So, lahat tayo, all baptized, are called to chastity. No? Akala natin, pag may asawa ka na, pwede ka nang binigyan ka na ng Lord ng freedom to do whatever you want, no? Even if you are married, no, you are called to chastity. Kontrolado mo. Hindi mo gawing sex object yung asawa mo. You have to respect the boundaries of your wife. Hindi mo yan sex object na utusan mo lang kahit kailan. Oh, no? Ang wife naman, you had to have a valid reason to uh, deny the rights of your husband. May iba na naman na ginagamit nila for ano, no? leverage. Hindi tama. So, dapat balance. At saka, akala ng iba, pag married sila, pwede na sila manood ng pornography, pwede na silang mag-engage in masturbation. Hindi pwede. You cannot do what everyone. You have to remain chaste all the baptized. No? You have to control still at saka pwede na sila mag-sexual fantasize sa ibang babae. No? When you're married, you are expected to observe chastity. Spouses, widows, virgins, all are expected to to uh, to be chaste. Yung mga offense against chastity. Last, yung disordered na desire for sexual pleasure. No? Disordered. Yung yun lang ang dinidesire mo. Sinaseparate mo siya sa procreative. Always remember, procreative and unitive magkasama. Hindi mo pwedeng separate. Yung unitive, yun ang pleasure. Comes with it. And the procreative is to uh, to produce human being. No? Kasama yan. 2352, very clear. May ibang mga confessors. May ibang mga clergy. Take, beware. Magsasabi. Mga professor, teachers. Magsasabi, hindi kasalanan ng masturbation. It's clear in the catechism. Masturbation is a gravely disordered action. It is a grave sin. No? So, it is deliberate stimulation of the genital organs in order to derive pleasure. The magisterium and constant tradition have stated that it is intrinsically a gravely disordered action. So, ang paggamit ng ating sexual faculty outside of marriage no, is always sinful. It is only ang sexual faculty natin, pwede lang talang gamitin within the context of sacramental marriage. Hindi marriage ng mga uh, civil, ha? Sacramental marriage sa church. Because it is a mutual giving, no? Mutual giving to one another. Kaya, 
bawal ang artificial contraception dahil hindi siya mutual giving. May nilalagay tayong hadlang by chemical or physical barriers. Fornication, yung pagtatalik ng hindi mag-asawa. Dalawang hindi mag-asawa, dalawang hindi kasal, o kahit yung isa kasal, yung isa hindi, hindi pwede. Pornography, yung display of the sexual action to third parties or simulated acts. No? It perverts conjugal act. No? It's very, very evil. May iba nagtuturo na sa marital counseling kasi hindi na nagaganahan si mister kasi hindi na medyo nahihina na yung energy niya papa they will church leader sometimes i was told he was advised to watch pornography never 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 uh, justified no it it does grave injury to the dignity of its participants yung actor yung public yung vendor no each one becomes an object of base pleasure it is a grave offense. No? Civil authority, may responsibility, dapat stop ito. Malaki silang pananagutan sa hindi nila pag-stop nito. <coughs> Prostitution is uh, is really a grave sin, reducing the person to an instrument of sexual pleasure. 2356 rape understandable no hindi na kailangang explain no? deeply wounds the respect of freedom and violation of sexual intimacy it causes grave damage that can mark the victim for life mas mas malala ang rape committed by parents or mga person in authority like teacher like priest like anyone uh, when someone is entrusted to them. 2357, homosexuality uh, re refers to relation between men or between women who ex experience exclusive yung lalaki siya, attracted to the same lalaki or babae or babae, toward person the same sex. Ang psychological origin niya hanggang ngayon hindi pa talaga ma- Explain. Ngunit, basing on sacred scripture, no, yung same-sex attraction, hindi kasalanan yun, mga kapatid. Ha? Just to be clear, na-attract ka, it's not fun. But, homosexual acts no, or relationships is not helpful. And homosexual act itself is a grave depravity. Okay? Homosexual acts are intrinsically disordered. Very clear sa katekisen. They are contrary to the natural law because sirado. Walang human being na mapoproduce dyan. No? Close to the sexual close the sexual act to the gift of life. Under no circumstances can they be approved. And katekisen 2357 sabi, under no circumstances can they be approved. Very clear. 2358. However, these people must be accepted with respect. Eh? Sabi nila ang Catholic Church, hindi discriminate. No, ito yung malinaw na teaching. No? They must be accepted with respect, compassion, sensitivity. Kasi maraming factors kung bakit nagkaganon. No? But every sign of unjust discrimination in their regard should be avoided. No? Walang discrimination. However, they are called to chastity. No? Since they are not attracted to men sila, hindi sila attracted sa kanilang sa women, so ayaw nilang to enter a relationship with other sex 
So, walang life mangyayari. Hindi rin nila pwedeng i-practice yun ang kanilang sexual urge sa same man because it is against the plan of God. So, wala silang desire. So, ang gawin na lang nila is to remain chaste, to practice self-mastery. By prayer and sacramental grace, no? they can become saints if they practice chastity. No? There, it is a cross also. No? Minsan, di natin alam, multifactorial ang cause kung bakit nagkaganon, same-sex attraction, hindi talaga, kahit anong gawin nila, hindi talaga sila ma-attract sa kanilang opposite sex. So, it is a cross that they have to bear. And pag, if they bear it patiently with hope, no? uh, they can become saints. <laughs> Purification of the heart. Now, paunti-unti na tayong lumalapit sa modesty. Catechism 2518 sabi, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Dapat busilak ang ating puso. No? Pure. So, to have a pure heart, tatlo ang kailangan. We have to have a pure faith, pure heart, and pure body. Meaning, ang ating sexuality, urges ng flesh, pure. So, tatlo yan ang purity. Mind, heart, and body. So, sa body, dyan yung ating sexual urge, in control. Sa mind, faith. Dapat meron tayong tamang faith. Hindi ka matawag na pure ang pure in heart ka. Yung sa Beatitudes. No? Blessed are the pure in heart. Hindi ka matawag na pure in heart kung mali yung faith mo. Heretic ka. No? At pag wala kang love towards God and towards your neighbor. Charity, chastity, and purity of heart, body, and faith. So, sabi ni St. Augustine, The faithful must believe in the articles of the creed, believing that they may obey. So, if you believe, teaching of the church, marunong kang maging masunurin. You will obey the teaching of the church. And if you obey, you will live well. Magiging mag mag mabuti ang iyong buhay. And if you live well, you will purify your heart. And if you purify your heart, there you will understand what you believe. So, minsan, ang iba, ayaw nilang maniwala kung di nila naintindihan. No, believe first, obey first, and then it, it, the gift of God to you because you obey, no, you believe and you obey, the gift of that, you will understand what you believe. Faith seeking understanding. So that is the gift of God. Kasi kung sasabihin mo, hindi ako maniniwala hangit, hindi ko naintindihan, walang mangyayari sa hindi ka bibigyan ni, ni God ng understanding. You will understand what you believe. 2519 So, para makita mo si God, meaning para mapunta ka sa langit, you have to be pure in heart. Uh, it is the condition ni God. And then, by pure heart, you will see the will of God. And you will see your neighbor as created by God with dignity. And you will see them, your neighbor, as the temple of the Holy Spirit. So, each person is a temple of the Holy Spirit. So, hindi mo siya gagamitin, yung asawa mo, yung female na makita mo, yung lalaki na makita mo, hindi siya hindi mo sabihin yung, yung mga term ng iba, sarap-sarap, uh, yung mga term ng iba, di ba? Ano pa yan? Yummy? No, that is immodest. Christian women stop saying yummy. Or mga ano-ano dyan. Because you are looking at those person, hindi sa design ni God. They are temple of the Holy Spirit and they are holy. No? So, the battle for purity. So, nang bininyagan tayo, we have been purified from all sin. Pero, dahil effect of the 
original sin, andyan na, we are fallen nature, meron tayong tinatawag na concupiscence. Yung ating flesh, weak. Wala na siyang complete control ng ating passion. No? So, ito, minsan nag, ano to, nag-alburuto yung flesh natin. So, we have to control it all our life. We have to continue to struggle. No? So, we have to always see the true end of man. The true end of man is to know God, to love God, and to serve God. You have to always have that in mind. No? And you have to, to seek the will of God in everything. So, ang ating vision, i-purify natin, hindi lang external, yung na, na, na nakikita natin, so dapat may filter tayo. No? Hindi yung filter na pampaganda. Filter natin kung anong pumapasik sa mata natin. Hindi kahit ano tingnan natin. Marami ngayon sa Facebook, kung ano dyan, mga sexy, huwag mo nang i-click, huwag mo nang pindutin, huwag mo nang tingnan. No? Um, we have to, hindi lang sa atin nakikita kung ano, pati yung anong iniisip mo. Internal at saka external. Huwag mong i-allow mga impure thoughts na mag -dwell. May papasok na impure thoughts, di mo maiwasan yan, pero you have to uh, reject it immediately. Pray Hail Mary immediately. So now, papasok yung modesty. Now, purity requires modest, modesty. Modesty protects the intimate center of the person. No? So, dapat tabunan yung dapat tabunan, hindi expose yung dapat hindi makita. Refusing to unveil what should remain hidden. <clears throat> so, modesty will guide us on how one looks at another at yung ating pananamit. So, yung modesty mga kapatid, hindi lang siya sa pananamit. Kasama yung ating pananalita at ang ating kilos. Diba? Sa kilos natin, pwede tayong hindi modest Di ba? Magaganan-ganan ka diba? Paglabas-labas ka ng dila mo yung Patwinkle-twinkle ka ng mata mo dyan diba? uh, kahit, Tapos yung words mo Flirty ka sa words mo Hindi ka modest no? At saka sa pananamit mo Okay Now <clears throat> Modesty protects the mystery of persons and their love It encourages patience and moderation. So, marunong ka mag-control kahit sa speech mo, sa jokes mo, sa dress mo. Ang modest ay pinsan rin ng, uh, uh, ng humble. Yung taong humble, hindi masyadong maraming salita. Hindi masyadong gustong magpakita. Gustong manotis. Diba? Yung humble Magpinsan yung humble at saka modest You are modest in your speech Modest in your dress no? Modesty is decency It inspires Pag modest ka na You will be inspired in your choice of clothing It keeps silent or reserved And it is not always curious It is discreet. Anong ibig sang ng discreet? Ibig sabihin ng discreet. Careful and circumspect in one's speech or actions. Avoid causing offense to gain advantage. Yun ang discreet. At sa kayong modest people, person, hindi siya gusto ng mga voyeuristic exploration. Like gaya ng mga advertisement, media, Nang no, sobrang nanghihimasok na sa mga intimate mga parts ng body no? at sa kagusto para sobrang sobrang pagka-curious sa mga life ng people sa kanilang pa, mga pananamit sa mga personal is already not being modest no? and modesty inspires a way of life so um, it is a way of life Ano yan? Parang kaugalian mo na that you are modest. Hindi siya ganitong panahon, modest ka. No? It is a way of life. And if you're modest, you resist the allurements of fashion. Hindi ka susunod sa kung anong uso ngayon kasi uso ngayon yung mga short shorts, yung ganitong mga backless, kung mga ano dyan. Hindi ka nagsusunod. You are stable. 
pinafalo mo yung uh, virtue according to the the view of, of a proper Christian or in the view of Christ, no? The forms taken of a modesty nag-iiba-iba sa kada culture, pero kahit nagkakaiba sa ibang culture ang pattern ng modesty, meron siyang common denominator. Hindi pwede ah, dahil sa culture ito huhubad, okay na, no? May merong minimum requirement, no? Na ayon sa dignidad ng tao. Dapat ang modesty tinuturo sa mga bata. Bata pa tiniteach na ang modesty. Because if they are being taught modesty, they will grow up respecting other as a human person. Catechism 2525 Dapat para ma-promote ang modesty, ang social climate i-purify din sa mass media, no? Dapat ganun dapat. Kasi mahihirapan tayong ma-maintain ang modesty if the government itself or the the mass media, no? Social media ay patuloy na nagbobombard ng mga uh, indecent images. Yung sinasabi nila dahil ang culture ngayon ay modern na permissive na hindi pwede erroneous yan error yan na conception no 2527 say that the gospel of Christ should continually renew the life of the culture hindi yung gospel ang mag-a-adjust sa culture dapat yung culture ng times even the modern times should be Uh, influenced by the gospel not the other way around the good news of Christ continually renews the life of the culture and it should never stop purifying or elevate the morality of the people dapat tumatagal habang tumatagal nagiging ang morality ng tao tumataas ano nangyayari? paurong tayo, paatras mas lalo natin hindi ina-apply ang gospel ang mali dyan, kasi sa iba, mga taong simbahan, imbis na mag-igamitin ang gospel to be the parameter, pinapa-adjust na ang gospel sa culture, which is the opposite na dapat mangyari. No? The gospel never ceases to purify, should purify and elevate the morality of the people. Sabi ni Bishop Antonio de Castro Mayer. So, since we are born with fallen nature, we have original sin, ang effect ng original sin, concupiscence, we must keep our bodies covered para ma-avoid natin ang danger ng ating mga desires to run wild. At ginawa ni Lord ang mga babae to be attractive. Sinadya ni Lord yan para ma-attract ang lalaki and they will leave their mother and father and they will become one flesh and then go and multiply, di ba? As a result of original sin, habang buhay tayo mag-struggle to regulate this attraction kasi hindi yan pwedeng unlimited. Always keep in check and in control. By how? By prayer. Huh? By prayer and by cooperation with God. Ang problema lang, in this modern time, we have lost the sense of sin. Grabe na, sleeveless, shorts, mga anak natin, pinapashorts natin, sleeveless, low necklines, mga, ano, parang na normal na. Pero lingin sa ating kaalaman, hindi pa rin pala dapat normal yun. Kaya nga, medyo mahirap tong lecture na to dahil masyasya kayo. No? At maraming magagalit. At maraming hindi na magpa-follow. <laughs> I don't care. Anyway, uh, we are living in times that have lost the sense of sin. No? And nagslabasan ang styles of dress that is contrary no? against the Christian modesty. 
So dapat, Christian people, we are being baptized, mas hindi tayo papayag na dadalhin tayo no? ng spirit of the world. Magre-resist tayo. Ngayon tayo dahil ginawa ng marami, okay na yon. Accepted din dahil ginawa ng marami. The voice of the people is the voice of God. That is wrong. <laughs> That is not true. The voice of the people is the voice of God. No. Sabi ni Saint Hasinta sa Fatima, sabi ni Mama Mary, Fashions will arise someday which will greatly offend God. Fashions will arise. So imagine, no? yung mga Miss Universe pa lang, yung mga nakabating suit, that is already a grave sin. Huh? That is already a grave sin. So guilty ako, nanonood din ako ng mga ano, no? Miss Universe. Yung naka-two-piece, naka, naka-bikini, no? So ngayon, pag nakita natin ang times ngayon, makita natin na nangyayari na yung prophecy ni Mama Mary sa Fatima. Those who keep the law, sabi ni Hasinta, should not follow fashions. If we want to follow the law of God, we should not follow fashions. Dapat ang ating priest, No? must try to apply the instruction of the sacred congregation of the council pero, pag si, pero dapat without violence and rudeness dapat mahinahon na pagkasabi but kailangan firm no? hindi violent, hindi rude but with firmness so hindi dapat i-allow um, they must not let person dressed in styles described above receive the sacraments hindi dapat ipareceive ng Holy Communion yung mga immodest. And even not to be allowed to enter the church. Must not be allowed to access the temple of God. Yung mga couples who present themselves for marriage, dapat sa prekana i-explain sa kanila na mga guests, mga entourage, should have a proper attire. No? They must not be accepted as witness in marriage, not to be admitted to Holy Communion if they persist. So, <clears throat> ano yung ano? Ano yung ruling? January 12, 1930, the Sacred Congregation with the Council, Mandate of Pope Pius XI, uh, issued these instructions on modesty. So, hindi daw matatawag, na take note of this slide mga kapatid, hindi daw matatawag na decent if the dress is cut mas mababa pa sa two finger breadth sa ilalim ng throat itong parang may malalim dito sa pit ng throat yung lumalalim dito hanggang dyan deeper than that it is now longer considered hindi na siya decent no? and then does not pag hindi nag-cover sa arms at least at least manang sa elbows So, hindi pwede sleeveless. At dapat lagpas sa knee. At ang paggamit ng mga transparent material is improper. Maraming masyashap, no? Hindi sa akin to. And let parents keep their daughters away from public gymnastic games, contest because immodest yung mga dress. Kung gusto man talaga nilang ipasali, Let should be covered, no? Let them see to it that they are fully and modestly dressed. Let them never permit their daughters to do, to don immodest garb. Regrettably, maraming sports na hindi pasok sa guideline ng modesty. They are in themselves occasion to sin, no? But ang sabi dito, ano pipiliin mo? to involve in those activities or to disobey God and to put your salvation in danger no like swimming baton twirling mga margaret tennis napaka short shorts basketball dancing swimming lalo na swimming since people wear less clothes when swimming than any other sport swimsuits have no sleeves A very low necklines, no coverings for the legs. Pero, uh, thankfully, may mga 
swimsuits ngayon na may sleeves at saka may ano siya, nakocover yung legs. Sabihin nila, aerodynamic o ano yung tawag dyan, nung mas babagal ka. Ilan ang, na naman ng seconds ang mawawala dyan, di ba? Pag uh, nagsuot ka ng may sleeves. Hindi lang babae ang guilty dito, pati yung lalaki. Yung mga lalaki, bawal pala, mag topless. Yung magdi-display-display na kanila mga muscle, no? Uh, to go in public strip to the waist or very tight pants para makita yung mga ano nila mga batak nila para maging sexy at mga bukol-bukol diyan no some go in public strip to the waist or in very tight pants or in very scanty bathing suits no kung gusto mo punta sa langit tigilan mo na yan yung mga advertisement niya sa sali ka para pag kung nanasahan ka ng mga opposite sex at saka same sex they may also be an occasion of sin for our neighbor so opinion na dapat hayaan natin ang custom to dictate ni refute yan ni Pope Pius the 12 ang sabi niya there always exists an absolute norm to be preserved hindi pwedeng mag follow lang tayo sa custom There, there always exists an absolute norm to be preserved. So, false principle yung sinasabi na the ma- pag, dahil ginagawa ng majority, yun ang tama. The, maj- the majority cannot go wrong. It is false. Yung pag sinabi mong modesty is a matter of custom, nagdidepende lang yan sa kostumbre o sa kultura, yung modesty, para mo na sinabi na honesty is a matter of custom. Kasi maraming hindi honest, pwede na rin tayong hindi maging honest. Yun. Yan ang sabi ni Padre Pio on modesty. Grabe, walang patawad si Padre Pio when it comes to modesty. Pag may nagpasok sa confession sa kanya na low necklines, short and tight-fitting skirts, wala pang uso yung pants dati, hindi niya pinapasok. Lalo siya naging instricto in the last part of his life. Hindi niya pinapakonfess. No? Uh, marami siyang dinidismiss. Hindi niya pinapatuloy. No? He turned them away one after the other. Hanggang kumukunti na lang nakakakonfess dahil sa kanyang dress code. Napansin ito ng mga kasama niya mga friars kaya nagpaskil na lang sila sa labas. Now, women must enter the confessional wearing skirts at least 8 inches below the knee. At hindi pwedeng mag- manghiram ka lang para manghiram ka lang ng damit. Dapat isapaw mo para mag-confess ka. No? Dapat pag galing ka pa sa bahay, yun na talaga ang dress mo. Hindi yung pakitang tao lang na nag-confess ka, manghiram ka. Si St. Francis of Rome, no? Francis Babayan, Pinakitaan siya ni Jesus ng vision of hell. No? And then, pinakita siya kanya yung ibang mga babae na sa impyerno. In the, mga, in the Roman society, sa kanyang kapanahunan. Mind you, uh, remember, during this time, uh, the Roman society, mas conservative pa yan kumpara sa panahon natin ngayon. How much more? So, ngayon, di ba? Mas kum- Pero, Pinakita sa kanya yung mga kakilala niya, mga babae na naimpyerno. Ito yung mga tatlong rason. Because of their desires. Yung desire nila, yung modest desire, kahit hindi pa nila nagawa. Desire pa lang ha. Guilty desires. Even though this had not been put into act. Diba? Yung, if you look at a woman, hindi lang yung woman, pati man, and you desire to have sex with that person, hindi lang yung temptation, kundi you really consented na already. You've decided in your mind. Hindi, kahit hindi pa natuloy, it is already a sin. Kailangan mo i-confess yan. Second, indecent style of dress. No? It is the cause of seduction and sin sa ibang mga tao. na impyerno sila. And sa pagsali nila ng mga dance, mga ball, mga dance, yung mga... mga 
kung sa Bisaya pa Baili, no? Mga nasa tingin ng mga tao, okay lang naman, considered inoffensive by the world. But it is already a great sin. So, this is a testimony of St. Francis. Ito yung rason kung bakit na impierno sila. Okay? Kung mabilis, pakiano na lang, i-post nyo na lang, screenshot nyo na lang. Kasi, um, para hindi tayo maano. Now, dahil dun, na tamaan masyado si St. Francis of Rome, na nang Nanginig siya sa takot dahil sa ganun, nilagay niya sa mural ng kanyang chapel yung yung mga sa mga dress codes para ma-remind siya parate yung vision niya na yung mga babae na impyerno nilagay niya as murals para hindi magaya ng iba. At binigyan siya ni Lord ng mission na hilahin ang mga babae from vanity and luxury. Ito yung mission niya na hindi maging vanity sa kanilang mga damit, no? sa kanilang mga appearance. Now, dapat ang Christianity natin mga kapatid, hindi lang sa hanggang faith. Dapat buong buhay it permeates the whole being of the person. No? It regulates our speech, our actions, our attitude, no? ang ating external appearance. Hindi pwedeng para kang si... Para kang Donya, kung ano na yung Donya Maldita yung hitsura mo. Dapat, kung ano na sa loob mo, yun din ang appearance mo. Hindi mo pwede, sa, sa labas, para kang Donya Maldita, pero sa loob, mabait naman ako, hindi dapat ganun. Kung ano sa loob mo, yun din dapat ang appearance mo. No? So, hindi sapat na sabihin mo, you believe. Ang ating kilos, ang ating pananalita, ang ating relationship should be expressed. No? So, a woman who is vain, meaning vain, shallow, wants to be always noticed, to be praised by men, no? by people, men and women alike. A woman who tries to attract men's glances to herself, para mapansin siya ng tao, to herself. Actually, she has no desire to please Jesus Christ. Huh? She has no desire to please Jesus Christ. A woman who tries to attract men's glances to herself, she has no desire to please Jesus Christ. Now, today's fashion, grabe, no? it dishonors the corrupt and corrupt the Christian woman. Their aim is to seduce and to arouse concupiscence. Diba sa mga advertisement na lang? Anong mga advertisement, diba? To, to, uh, to seduce. To attract, yeah? parating may mga sexual connotation. In general, dapat daw, clothes should hide the shape of the body. It's, kung may shape ka, curvaceous ka, ang clothes, it should hide na hindi malaman yung shape mo. Rather than accentuate it. Instead, ang nangyayari ngayon, yung mga damit, pinapakita yung form na ma-obvious. Dapat i-hide yan. No? And, uh, maybe if given a time, another time, i-explain ko kung anong reason nito, psychological reason, kung bakit binagbabawal ang pants sa babae, yung slacks. Sinabi ni Father Reperger, hindi kasalanan automatic ang mag-pants ang babae. But, it is not the best way. Because, Psychologically, uh, kaya nga may term na the woman on the house who is wearing the pants, no? because it is a sign of labor. Ang lalaki ang nagtatrabaho. So he is, the, he is providing food to the table. He is the wearing the pants. Kasi yung babae, if he, she wears skirt, yun talaga ang ideal, skirt. Uh, sabi ni Father Reperger, hindi kasalanan pag nag-wear ng pants ang lalaki, babae, pero hindi siya ang design ni God. Because the more ang women, uh, women mag-wear ng skirt, psychological niya ay nag-accentuate yung pagiging mother, pagiging wife that she will become attracted 
more attracted to his husband, to her husband. So more on that, I will not dwell on that another mahabang psychological explanation dyan eh. Okay. Now, a woman shall not wear anything that pertains to a man. Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. Hindi ka pwede magsuot yung babae na pang lalaki. Yung lalaki, hindi pwede magsuot ng pang babae. Nor shall a man put a woman's garment. So, transgenderism, hindi pwede. For whoever does these things is an abomination to the Lord, your God, while we are no longer under the legal court canon. So, so that, to that end, women should think twice about wearing pants, trousers, and other articles of clothing that pertains to a man. Such clothing obscures her feminine identity and plays to a wicked society that wants women to usurp the authority of men. Yeah, diba? Parang gustong i-usurp or i-overtake ang authority ng man. So in particular, when attending Mass, lalo na sa Holy Mass, mas lalo tayong dapat mas careful. Women must cover their heads. Every woman praying with her head not covered disgraces her head. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 5. Yung manto dati, di ba? Pero ngayon, naging maluwag na ang church sa kanilang discipline, pero dapat mas... It is the constant teachings of the past popes. No? Pope Pius X, that including the Code of Canon Law, Canon 1262, covering of the head to women. Kasi galing dyan sa 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 5. Every woman praying with her head not covered disgraces her head. And also, with a ma woman covering her head, it is a sign of humility and submission. No? It draws upon God's blessings and graces upon her. No? So, lalaki at babae, bawal ang sleeveless. Should, their arms should be covered in church. Kahit pa, sabihin mo, warm ang weather. No? Because si Jesus nga nag-sacrifice for you. He, he was nailed on the cross. Died for you. The least that you can do is to sacrifice. Kahit mainit, cover yourself properly. Sabi ni Father Bernard Merichux, sabi niya, nakakalungkot dahil ang ka kaibahan ng mga non-Christians to Christians, yung mga idolaters to uh, believers, Pagans and non-pagans, wala na. Hindi mo na malaman. Dahil kung anong ginagawa ng mga idolaters, anong ginagawa ng mga pagano, yung mga sinners, evildoers, parang ganun na rin. Sa, sa pananamit, para, para magkaparehos na ang kristyano at ka di kristyano. Alam niyo ba nung na martyr si Saint Perpetua, uh, yung mga baka, wild, wild bulls, binalibag-balibag sila, Tinapuntapon sila. Yun ang paraan na sila ipapatayin. Nung natapon siya at saka nalapag siya sa lupa, ang una niyang ginawa ay inayos niya yung kanyang palda na, na matabunan ang kanyang legs. Kahit grabe na ang sakit na kanyang ininda, naisip niya pa yung modesty. Because she was more concerned for modesty than pain. She doesn't want to be exposed. No? Grabe. Leviticus chapter 18 verse 17 You shall not uncover the nakedness of a woman and her daughter. Yung nakedness nila, no? Dapat hindi mo i-uncover. Dapat abunan mo. So when women dress immodestly showing their legs, stomach, even more, no? They're leading people into serious sin. No? They excite others to sin. They are guilty of mortal sin. St. John Chrysostom Sabi niya Yung mga babae na nagsusuot ng mga sexy You are carrying your snare everywhere Yung patibong nyo, dinadala nyo yung trap nyo Everywhere Kahit saan kayo yung napunta yeah? Sinabi nyo, hindi nyo dinadala ang iba sa pagpakasala Pero indeed by your words You have done so by your dress And your behavior you have made other sin in his heart. 
How can you be innocent? No? Tell me, sino ang paparusahan ng judge? Yung uminom ng poison o yung naggumawa ng poison? So, ikaw na immodest dress para ikaw nagbigay ng poison. No? So, dinedenay na mga bae, wala naman akong kasalanan dyan kasi kasalanan ng mga tumitingin, dirty yung mind niya. No? Uh, or, hindi naman ako apektado sa sinusuot ko. As ako, ako komportable lang ako. Uh, happy ako sa sinusuot ko. E eh, bakit siya apektado? Hindi naman ako apektado. Mali na pag-iisip yan, mga kapatid. Men are created different from women. So, ang women, not so sexually aggressive than men. Yung lalaki, makikita lang ng konting balat dyan, lalo na dahil sa original sin, they will easily. So, don't judge your drive sa lalaki. Kasi sa iyo, parang wala. Sa lalaki, iba na yan. No? When a woman is dressed immodestly, she becomes the temptress of men. No? So, warning ni Jesus, whoever sh shall look on a woman to lust after her, already committed adultery with her in his heart. Now, tinulungan mo pa. Pinalala mo pa ang sitwasyon. Nakatingin siya sa'yo, tapos dami mo pang exposed na balat. Ang puti mo pa. You become a cooperator to the sin. You become complicit. Huh? Indirectly, immodest women are included in the judgment. Being cooperators with the sins of men. So, anong warning ni Jesus sa skandal? Yung skandal... Sin of bad example. You're, if you are the cause for someone to commit sin, you are guilty of sin of scandal. Yan yan. Now, kung ikaw ang dahilan kung siya nakasala, eto ang sabi ni Jesus sa Bible, He that shall scandalize one of these little ones that believes in me, it were better for him that a millstone should be hung around his neck. And thrown to the sea. Huh? So a mortal sin of scandal is committed when women go who go about with their bosom immodestly exposed. Yung mga cleavage naka-exposed, yung very low necklines. Going around, bosom, ito no, dib dib, no? immodestly exposed. It's already a mortal sin. Huh? Or their limbs exposed improperly legs or ties no kahit yung mga actors no though in comedies in shows even painters who paint obscene pictures and people who keep those painting in their houses ang tatay na nagsasalita ng mga nagmumura yun they are immodest and use profane words yung mga mother or parents na hinahayaan nilang matulog sa kanilang bahay ang boyfriend ng kanilang anak at hinahayaan na baka makikita sa kwarto kahit pa engaged sabi dito or betrothed to death hindi pwede at hinahayaan nila mag-date ang kanilang mga mga anak na hindi pa kasal na going to places that they are alone. They are guilty of more grievous scandal. And some mother would say, hindi naman ako nagsuspect. Malinis, ang, grabe ang trust ko sa anak ko. Anong sab ang sagot dito? It, it is your duty to suspect. Otherwise, they will have to render to God an account of all the sins which may follow you will be accounted sa mga kasalanan na gagawin nila. No? May isang babae na after siya nag-asawa, yung anak niya, hinayaan niyang mag-dress immodestly. Hindi niya, hindi niya pinagsasabihan. Nung siya ay malapit na mamatay, nagkaroon siya ng malubang kalamdaman, uh, she fell into a state of unconsciousness and the Lord appeared to her 
she was condemned to the internal fire. Nung nagising siya, sigaw siya na sigaw. Sabi niya, I am damned, I am damned. Meaning, na impyerno ako, na impyerno ako. Andon, yung, ang, may pare doon, pinakalma siya. Sabi niya, um, go to confession. No? Go to confession. Ang sagot niya, ano pa ang magagawa ng confession? Sinintensya na ako maimpyerno ni God. Tapos lumapit na naman yung anak niyang babae. No? Kinomfort siya. Tapos sabi niya, ikaw, ikaw ang rason kung bakit ako na impyerno. Dahil sa iyo, no? Dahil sa yung pananamit. Hindi kita pinagsabihan, no? I am done. Matapos yung sinabi yun, dinampot siya ng mga demonyo, ng mga jablo, pinataas siya sa kisame at hinagis sa sahig at doon yun siya namatay. So, uh, it is a weird experience na buhay pa siya, impyerno na siya, pero in a way, tingnan mo parang buhay pa siya, pero actually, patay na siya. Um, nasintensyahan na siya ni Lord. So, yung nagsasalita siya para lang makita ng anak niya kung ano ang kasalanan ng magiging immodest. No? Nung nakita ng pare at sa kanyang anak niya na witness, she was already uh, condemned to hell. Now, ito naman, um, yung, yun ay, ano yun ha? Um, testimony yun ni St. Alfonso Ligori, yung kinuwento ko ngayon. Ito naman, from Father uh, Reverend Show. St. Louis of Granada speaks of a young woman na she was condemned to hell. Kung tingnan mo ang buhay niya, regular na lang. She lived a regular life. No? She died, received the sacraments. Naka, naka ano siya? Anointing of the sick, naka-confession, naka-receive naka ng Holy Communion. Ha? Take note, namatay siya receiving the sacraments, but she was damned. Because, tinanong siya kung anong kasalanan niya. Ha? She led a regular life, but her passion to attract attention by the charm. Ito yung kasalanan niya. She has the passion to attract attention by her charm. Of her beauty was the moving cause of her whole conduct. And then she died having received all the sacraments, saying that she was damned and that the cause of her damnation was vanity. No? Ang kanyang vanity. She added, only to please the eyes of men. I sought only to please the eyes of men. So, be careful. No? So, dahil doon sa kanyang ano, Kahit nag-receive siya ng sacrament, it prevented me from receiving the sacraments well. Ibig sabihin, hindi valid yung kanyang confession kasi hindi niya na-confess. Hindi siya into a proper disposition of contrition and repentance. No? Hindi niya alam, siguro. at hindi proper ang kanyang heart. So, hindi ibig sabihin na you receive the sacraments, it is automatically valid. You have to have the proper disposition. Huh? So, maybe she did a invalid confession or sacrilegious confession. Now, another. Sa sinabi ni Father Nerenberg, <laughs> isang saint na babae, tinanong niya, Si God, kung ano ang pinakaayaw ni God sa mga kagaya niyang babae, what displeased her? Sinagot siya ni God by showing her hell. Pagkatapos, nakita niya ng, baba, ng saint na yon ang kaibigan niyang babae na andun sa impyerno. Narecognize niya, one of her friends, that during... Buhay pa yung babaeng yun, no? 
she did not seem to live a bad life. Normal naman, parang average lang yung girl na yon. Di naman siya makasalanan. Tinanong niya kung bakit na impyerno siya. Sabi ng babae, yung nakita niya sa vision na nasa impyerno. Sagot ng babae, It is true that I practiced religion. No? But I was a slave to vanity. No? Ruled by the passion to please. I was not afraid to adapt in decent fashions. No? Hindi siya natatakot gumamit ng mga, fa- mga clothing na hindi modest to attract the attention. And I kindled the fire of impurity in more than one heart. Now, if only thou, Christian women, knew how much immodesty displeases God. Immodesty displeases God. So with that, God bless us all. So let it sink in. Mahirap to. But the choice is ours. Either we want to honor God by obeying Him, by the guidance of the church, or we want to dictate our own morality. We want to impose our own moral judgment. So it's better to trust the guidance of the church. No? Okay. So if you have questions, just PM me. Uh, I would like to greet these people here in Zoom. Ang hindi ko pa greet Brother Glenn, Sis Del, Sis Hazel, Sis Joanna, Sis Kate, Sis Luis, Sis Tina, uh, Sis Trisita. Yun ang hindi ko na greet. So let us have a closing prayer. Uh, Sis Tina, can you have the closing prayer? Okay. Let us all pray the Our Father. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Thank you. brothers Thank and sisters. You. Thank, Thank you for attending. You. Extra points sa mga nag-attend sa Zoom. Okay, bye. God bless. See you. Hello. Sobrang kaming salamat po. Thank you, other sisters.